Can you describe to me what is a, a Southern photograph? You know, I, I, I think that's a tricky question, right? You know, if, if a big part of the bitter Southerner is, is, is coming out from under the cliches, um, I, I think when you talk about Southern anything, it's, it's, it's quick, it's easy and quick to default to those cliches, right? You know, um, but that being said, there's a lot of great history of Southern photography, right? You know, I think the first thing that I fell in love with that, that is, is clearly Southern uh, in its origin was the, the WPA era stuff, you know, the Depression era photography that was you know, it was it was so strong and it was so emotional and it was so full of this unavoidable sense of humanity, right? You know, and it was, and it had a resonance. I, I grew up in a very small town in the South, right? So there was a lot of that, though many decades later, that looked and felt a lot like home. And, you know, fast forward a little bit, I think as many of us do, you find people like William Eggleston. And, and there again, right, there was a, a, a visual simplicity that, that, that reminded me of you know, the same things that Flannery O'Connor's work did. You know, I grew up 30 minutes from Milledgeville, so when I discovered Flannery O'Connor, it was like the first awakening moment that says where you are, where you're from, uh, can be beautiful, can be interesting, and is full of interesting people. And I think Eggleston's photography kind of did the same thing, right? There was this beautiful simplicity to it, and it made you wonder, you know, you know where, where is this beauty coming from, right? This looks like things I've seen every day, and, and yet he's taking this moment to kind of zoom in a little bit. You know, so I, I think historically that's what Southern photography has looked and felt like, uh, particularly in my sense. Um, but right now I think I'm interested in, in the notion that it's much broader than that, right? You know, now it's, it's about documenting, you know, the hip-hop culture, right? It's about urban uh, lifestyles and, and, and things like that. So it's, it's not just the, uh, the nostalgic look back at dirt roads and, and barns, though, you know, there's a lot of that that I still find very beautiful, so... And so how does that photography help you tell those stories? You said it moves them through the text, but how you know, I, you know, and, and I think even beyond moving through the text, right, I, I think it tells a story in and of itself, right? We, you know, I, 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 I'm borderline gratuitous with the number of images we use in the story, but it's, it's not about gratuity, right? It's about, it's about putting somebody in a place. Uh, you know, if, if we want to paint a different picture for people in people's minds, but show them what that looks like, right? What, what, what do the many faces of the South really look like? You know, the, the South I know is, 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 is very multicolored. It's very multiracial, right? It's, it's, it's dynamic. We, we all look very different. Uh, the places that we call Southern, right? Those two. So I, I think the photography really does a lot of heavy lifting in terms of uh, not just telling somebody about something or telling them a story, but showing them to it and putting them in that place. So, you know, I, I think there's always a goal that uh, for visual readers, uh, that, that, that moving through the series of images, you know, tells a, a fairly complete story, uh, you know, just all by themselves.